I'm so excited to show y'all how we transform this space. It looks so bomb. it's Lex welcome or welcome back to my channel for part two of this laundry room makeover in part one we installed faux brick with a schmear pattern we also scavenged for a salvage door if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below in the description box and I'll put a card for it up here so you can check it out let's just jump right into it we are moving on to the installation of some floating wooden shelves so I made a quick trip to Home Depot. I grabbed three 12 inch by six foot boards. We lightly sanded each of these boards, cut them down to 68 inches, which is two inches shorter than the width of our wall. We stained them first with ebony and then with a black gel stain, both by Minwax. While the boards were drying overnight, I began the process of marking the wall for the install of the shelves. I used tape for this process. I strongly recommend that you use tape whenever you're trying to get a level shelf because it can really help you see if everything looks level. I use tape and the level against the wall just over the tape to help me figure out where to position everything and I did not have to drill my holes for one time. It's the next day. I am ready to put the shelves up. I'm going to use the brackets I showed last night. Link will be down below. I'm putting four brackets per shelf that trash blue multi-surface tape I had up on the wall last night was on the floor this morning. So now we're using frog tape. It's pretty legit, so I think we'll be fine to keep going. I'm ready to put these shelves up. Let's go. To install these shelves, I'm using a bit that's the same size as the screws that came with our shelf unit. I'm using a stud finder, a power drill, of course, and a level. I previously marked the studs on the baseboard with tape but I am gonna be rechecking just to make sure these boards are extra secure since we're not using drywall anchors. Once I've confirmed that I am within the stud, I'm going to put the bracket up against the wall, lining the bracket up with the top of the tape to assure that everything is level. And then I'm gonna drill my holes. Once the pilot holes were drilled, I peeled back the tape and began the process of securing the bracket to the wall with the screws. I'm just going to leave the tape up for this one so you can see what I mean, but you would peel the tape back. I'm going to show you this again from a different angle. We're going to check to confirm that we were within the stud, line up the bracket with the tape, drill your pilot holes, peel back the tape to reveal your holes, secure your bracket to the wall using the screws, and retighten once the last screw has been put in place. I installed the remaining shelves this way using a screwdriver for any tight corners. And once all the brackets were installed, the wall looked like this. To finish off these shelves, you center the wood over the brackets and secure the wood from the bottom with screws that were provided. It's super easy and super quick. I didn't do any measurements for this, I just eyeballed it. And here's the final product of the shelf install. After installing the shelves, I swept up any spackle or wood that fell in the process of installing and proceeded to bring in my appliances. Now the decorating can begin. My color palette inspo was based on the blue and red tones in reclaimed wood. I really love the look of that. So I tried to weave those colors in with my decor. My primary colors are of course black and white. Boring, I know, but timeless.
Now we haven't spent much time on this wall because there's really nothing here but laundry hamper. But I did want to put some decorations in this space as well because I want it to still feel like it's a part of the room, a part of the magic, you know? So I have a couple more wall decorations and I'm trying to decide if I want to do something simple here. Simple is good because there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming in and out of this space, a lot of lifting, things like that. So I don't wanna to make too much go on on this wall, but something needs to go there because it looks, it looks dry. Like it, it looks, it, it looks dry. There's no other word for that. Let's see what we can do. almost done with this laundry room. I think it is coming along so well. I'm so impressed by what I was able to do in this really small space, but I really love it. It didn't turn out exactly the way that I expected it, but in some ways it turned out better. So all that's left to do is install the light and put on the door. Those are the last two things we need to do, and then this place will be done. So we're going to save those two things for tomorrow. I will see you guys then. So for this project, I'm going to start by sanding the door down completely. Once the door is sanded, I'm going to wipe away any dust and clean it off to ensure nothing sticks to the paint. I tape the edges of the glass to get that clean, crisp line at the end and I proceeded to paint. I'm using a generic black high gloss paint. I believe this one is by Sharon Williams. I'm adding some Floetrol to it to help prevent any brush strokes, just because I'm not really familiar with painting doors and I, I might need some help. Once this side of the door was painted, I let it dry overnight before flipping it to the other side and painting that as well. After two days, this door was ready for install. I had to solicit assistance from the husband to do this because there was no way I could install his door by myself. But the installation process wasn't too bad. You could definitely do this as a beginner. First, we align the hinges on the door with the existing spot for the hinges in our door frame. We wanted to make sure it would fit without much adjustment. Once we had those lined up, made sure everything was gonna fit, that it didn't require us to create any new adjustments for the door hinges. We secured our old hinges in their original location. I spray painted these black. Once the old hinges were re-secured in place, we attached the new door to the hinges. Then we attached the doorknob, making sure to adjust for the slight difference in the door size. The next step in our DIY makeover is installation of my new light fixture. This is pretty simple. If you've never installed a light, you wanna make sure that you cut off the power breaker first so you don't electrocute yourself. And once you know that the power is off, you can begin the process of removing the original fixture. Ours was a recessed light, so we popped that out and then that exposed the black and white wires. What you need to do is connect the white wire from your new light fixture to the exposed white wire and the black wire from your new light fixture to the exposed black wire. They have these caps that come with the light kit to help you secure the, the wires. Then you'll secure the copper wire and screw it into place.
tuck everything in and secure your light to the ceiling. And boom, new light. Now just to add a few more touches, finished it's up it's painted I'm in love with it I'm so so glad we put in this work for this feature door now all that's left is to add my final decor piece and to reveal my beautiful laundry room makeover let me remind you of what it looked like before and here is the laundry room after I love this space. It's functional, it's attractive, it's serene, it's small, but it's still open. It feels bigger than it really is. I definitely want to add some sort of storage between the washer and dryer for my detergent and other laundry products that are bigger and a lot less attractive. So I'll be working on that. If you wanna see that, make sure that you're following me on Instagram. I definitely will post that on my IGTV sometime in the coming weeks. I am also still waiting for the vinyl lettering to put up on my door, but I'm definitely gonna be putting some vinyl lettering up on the frosted glass on the door and also on faces that I've converted on my wall for trash and lint. Once I get those installed, this place will be absolutely 100% complete, but I just could not wait to show it to you guys. Y'all, I love my laundry room so much. It turned out almost better than I imagined. Not quite exactly what I imagined, but even better. And I love that about a makeover that sometimes you get hit with things that you weren't expecting. You kind of have to tweak what you planned but she's cute. She's so cute. I'm so in love with it. My mom and my aunts have seen it. They love it. My husband doesn't want to admit that he loves it as much as he does, but he knows he likes it. And it really is a space that I feel like gives me peace. Like it's weird that that's my laundry room that's so peaceful and calming, but I really hate doing laundry. So I need that space to give me peace. And it definitely does that now. I almost feel like I'll do the laundry because it looks so pretty. I want to keep it clean. Incentives, right? So I'm so, so proud of this makeover. I am so in love with it. I'm so in love with the way that it turned out. I really hope you guys are enjoying these makeovers. I have so many more to come, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part of this makeover? What would you change? What would you add to it? I'm so interested down below. You guys give me some of the best ideas ever. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.